Okay, uh, good day guys. Okay, first of all, as promised, I'll go to chapter 4. I'll explain chapter 4, give you a brief idea. But I've done this guys, I've done this. All the worksheet that I've given you, there's a lot of questions and answer for you guys, for four, for you, a lot of questions and answers there. So all of it, I've already typed up the answers. It's in the PDF file. Send it together with this video as well. So check out all the answers then. And you can check out the answers. This is more of a learning part then. More directly, you must know, okay, what are the three types of monosaccharide, three types of disaccharide, three types of polysaccharide, you must directly know. Disaccharide means mono means one, di means two, poly means many. So disaccharide is a combination of two monosaccharides. So all this. First of all, like guys, let's just go briefly give you an idea. Especially those of you who have not yet learned this in school, maybe teachers just went briefly, then we had this MCO and all that, so you're stuck halfway there. Okay, so just want to brief you this whole chapter, give you an idea. And as we go on, as we go move into the next next uh, worksheet, I'll give you more exercise. Again, for you more exercise, I explain more and more, so you you eventually will get that. Don't worry. Okay. Now here, uh, chemical composition. What does it mean by chemical composition? You're learning the chemical compositions of us. That means previously we learned cell is the basic unit of life, which is true. Basic unit in the in the sense that it's alive. It does life processes and everything, which is true. But it's not the basic unit. There's something more smaller than the cell itself. We are all made up of molecular structures. We are made up of elements. Elements. The main elements that make us up, the main elements that make us up is chon. Means chon is carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen. So you take a human being, break them apart. We are all just carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Okay, clear? And where do we get this carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen? Basically from food, from the water that we consume and all that. That's where we get our carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen. So the first part of the chapter, first part of the chapter wants to explain to you. Like example, like water is H2, oh, that means got what? Got hydrogen, oxygen, got hydrogen, got oxygen, which is important components of our body, which is the one of the main elements of our body. Then, then carbohydrate, when you eat carbohydrate, you're eating carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. It's here, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. So, you eat rice there, the rice becomes carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, your body takes the carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and makes you, makes you a complex person. Okay, okay, nah? Protein is chon, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, lipids is chon. Okay, nucleotides is also actually chon. Lah. But nucleotides, I promised to do this, guys, in the, in the answer that I told you. I couldn't, I didn't draw it in the answer. I think actually I'll draw and show you. A nucleotide is a basic, basic for genetics. This is just to give you a brief idea. More exercise to come up, but this is just to give you a basic idea. This is genetics. And a nucleotide means, I'm made up of three things. So means I'm made up of three things which is the phosphate group made up of the phosphate group this will be a pentose sugar or sugar here and then there will be a nitrogenous base that forms it so a nucleotide basically if i just draw it briefly a bit fast here guys is a combination a dna is a combination of many of this many of these nucleotides combined 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 then forms dna Okay, so here itself you can see you've got nitrogenous base, that means got nitrogen, like guys got nitrogen, sugar here, already sugar, so sugar got carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, and also got some phosphates inside it. So these are all the basics of it, like guys, that means chemical composition, you're learning the biochemistry, the basic for biochemistry, that, that means you're learning the molecular structure of the human being. Okay, few parts I want to focus extra on. Hopefully you got this drawing here guys, try to rewind a bit, go through this drawing. If not, use this lah, the best reference, best reference, compulsory. Want to take SPM questions means must take out from your textbook. Okay, you must take out from your textbook there. Whatever chunky, thick, thick uh, reference book that you have for so, questions basically must come out from the textbook. So make sure you just go through the textbook, see the drawing, see the drawing of the nucleotides. Got phosphate, got sugar, got nitrogen space. If you're new to the chapter so, no worries. Just go through, draw a bit. Oh, that means this is the basic for DNA. Basic for DNA is the nucleotides. Okay, other than that, guys, the only Okay, let's go. Carbohydrate, I asked you, uh, sorry, water. I asked you the functions of the water. I'm not asking functions in the sense that to bathe, to eat, to wash plates, curl, not that function. Biochemically, how how does it help? So, got a few functions I've written down in the PDF file, second PDF file. There, I've given you a few functions. Example, there, it's for biochemical processes. Example like respiration, photosynthesis in plants and everything, all this requires water. Okay. Then other than that, uh, respiratory structure, example in our alveolus on the moist surface area, the moist surface area, 
water present okay called lubrication that means in our joints in our bones in between our bones there's fluid this fluid is called synovial fluid the synovial fluid is basically made up from water water combined make it into complex synovial fluid okay so this one more direct that you must know biochemically or biologically how is the water part of the stem okay so that's more straightforward like guys now coming to the next part here carbohydrates carbohydrates Got monosaccharides, disaccharides, or poly. Mono means one. Saccharide means sugar. So this is one sugar. Disaccharide means two sugar. Polysaccharide means three sugar. So examples, the three types of monosaccharide, three types of monosaccharide will be glucose, fructose, and then galactose. This will be three types of monosaccharide. So logically, logically, you must already know a combination disaccharide is a combination of two monosaccharides so example 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 glucose plus glucose maltose plus water okay then uh, glucose plus fructose will give you sucrose plus water glucose plus galactose will give you lactose plus water so this sucrose maltose lactose t-shirt size or shirt size small medium large sucrose maltose lactose so a disaccharide or three types of disaccharide which is sucrose maltose lactose sucrose maltose lactose Okay, can I clear on this uh, combination there then I'll give you a simple example like I example here glucose plus glucose <coughs> the second one, yeah, maltose plus water. Okay, then I asked you this: what is hydrolysis and what is condensation? But one of the questions, one of the questions, you really went through the questions properly. Means you will see this question there, guys. Glucose, glucose, simple, simple, become complex is condensation. Complex become simple, simple is hydrolysis. So what is condensation, right, guys? Pretty simple. Right? Let's look at this here. Let's just say. This one is glucose. This one is glucose. The black marker pen represents the glucose. And this blue marker pen represents the water. Glucose, 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 water. Okay. So what is condensation? What is condensation? You take out the water, glucose, glucose combined, glucose, glucose combined forms maltose plus water. What is hydrolysis? You take water, lysis, lysis, break down, break down, break down, lysis, break down. That. So take water. Split the maltose, then you get glucose and glucose. So if you take out water, it's condensation. You put water, then it's hydrolysis. So this is the two-way reaction. And this goes works for all of this, like as for all of this. That means for glucose, fructose, sucrose, glucose, glucose, maltose, maltose break down, becomes glucose, 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 galactose, lactose, lactose break down there, becomes glucose and galactose. Same, 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 same. For all of it is going to be the same. Simple, simple, become complex. Take out water, take out water, condensation. Put water, split them apart. It's called hydrolysis. Okay, can I clear on this, guys? So that's disaccharides. Disaccharides, these are the three types of disaccharide sucrose, maltose, and lactose. Small, medium, large. Polysaccharides, example, will be like uh, glycogen present in our liver, starch, rice, bread, or that starch. Cell wall got cellulose. These are all polysaccharides. Okay. I did ask you one question there, guys. Unique characteristics of polysaccharide. One of it is it does not taste sweet. Why does not taste? Why, why I say it's unique, you know, guys? Sugar, logically, polysaccharide means it's complex sugar. Polysaccharide. Polysaccharide. So poly means many saccharide. So complex sugar. So logically, we must think sugar means oh, it should be sweet. Why? But take rice, take white rice, put it in your mouth, chew and see. No, no, don't chew, just taste the rice. It'll be tasteless. But take the rice, put the mouth, chew. When you, after you chew, then it becomes sweet. That means when it's in the form of polysaccharides, complex is not sweet. But when it becomes simple, then it becomes sweet. Got a few other characteristics. One more thing is sucrose, the normal sugar that we put in our Milo, Nescafe, and all that, that's sucrose. That's sweet. That's a disaccharide. But if you take polysaccharides, example rice. Put inside water. You see, yeah? take sucrose and you put it in water. Milo can mix, Nescafe can mix, all that can mix, dissolves in water, right? But you take rice, which is starch, starch, polysaccharide, put in water, mix. Will you get rice juice? No, right? Because why? Because it's a polysaccharide. Polysaccharide does not dissolve in water. 
monosaccharide dissolves, disaccharide dissolves, polysaccharide does not dissolve in water. Okay, there'll be other characteristics as well. I won't go very detailed. Okay, this is just to give you an idea. I'm going to teach you more through Latian. Latian is the best way. Always do a lot of Latian, a lot of things you can maintain, you can remember. Well. Okay, so that's carbohydrates, I guess. Protein. Protein, simplest form of protein is amino acids. You learn this lower form, this is amino acid. Then two protein combined, amino acid plus amino acid. Amino acid plus amino acid akan dapat dipeptide. Di again means two. So the process of taking out the water here, this one will be condensation. So must show the water, come out, you take out the water already, it will become dipeptide. Dipeptide broken down. Is hydrolysis same thing simple simple complex condensation complex becomes simple is hydrolysis and the protein parts open your textbook go through these parts here got primary structure secondary structure quarter tertiary structure quarter structure it's nothing it's just how the amino acids are arranged it's how the amino acids are arranged it was a simple linear sequence straight line linear sequence that's a primary structure that means amino acid amino acid amino acid one straight line that is primary structure. Example of a primary structure will be the hormone called insulin that is important to manage your glucose level, your sugar level in the body. There. Okay, then got secondary structure, got tertiary structure, quaternary structure. All this I got answer again in the file, the PDF file that you have there has all the answers there. So you go through a bit more, you already can. Just you must recognize most of your previous passive questions and everything will give you the structure, ask you, okay, what structure is this? You must know, oh, this one is tertiary structure. Next question, give an example of a tertiary uh, structure protein. So you'll be able to give an example. So try and go through first. You won't have any problems there. Okay, then one more thing. Let's move on. So protein, carbohydrates, water, settle. A bit fast, I guess, huh? but just to give you an idea. Lipids. Lipids is fats. Fats got carbon, got hydrogen, got oxygen. Same like carbohydrate, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Then the main thing about lipids is got four types of lipids. Got fats and fats and oils. Fats and oils, well, like example, in the face got oil. This oil is called sebum. Sebaceous gland in our skin produces sebum. That's an oil. Masaf bahan mentah, raw material to make it right. The bahan mentah is the fats and oils there. Okay. Then got uh, around our organs as insu as protect uh, protection under our skin for insulation. All that is fats and oils. Then phospholipids. Surely you've heard this before, chapter three. Phospholipid bilayer, part of the plasma membrane. That's phospholipid. Then got steroids. Steroids means uh, sex hormones such as testosterone or estrogen, progesterone. Maybe you've heard this. People abusing using steroids in sports. Why? You know, because testosterone is for muscle build. Produced by the testes, that's sort of a muscle build. So if a person, let's say a, a, a male athlete there, already build muscle to a max, his body's max is there. So he still wants to build more muscle. He can take synthetic testosterone. That means it's not naturally produced by his body, but synthetically obtained and then he injects. That's how they cheat. Okay, so I'll go through and discuss more other questions. I'll go through a little bit more. But just to give you an idea, all this originate from facts. We're learning the chemical compositions. It means what? Where, what are the basic things and what does it become in our body? Like example, like coming back to this proteins, right? Protein, simple one. Proteins, the enzymes that we have in our body, the enzymes, the next part, the next uh, worksheet will be related more on the enzymes. That, the, that enzyme that is protein. Okay, so it's more about protein that the protein, where did the protein, where did the enzyme come from? Came from protein. Where, how did our body make the enzyme? We take chicken, fish, egg, whatever protein break down, become amino acid. Our body takes that amino acid and makes it into enzymes. Okay, can I guys clear on this? Huh? Then, uh, other than that, uh, lipids. Okay, I just gave you fats and oils. One type of lipids. Then phospholipids. Then steroids. And the last one there will be wax. Wax example, on the layer of uh, fruit that you take, uh, apple. You run down the apple inside the water, not your water going to go inside the apple. Why? Because on top of the apple, type of wax. Leaf layer got wax. So, where did the wax come? What made the wax there? Lipids are the one that produce the wax. Okay? One more important part will be water, guys. Related to lipid, you also will learn in chemistry as well, <coughs> will be the saturated and unsaturated fats. Saturated and unsaturated fats. Yeah? Uh, saturated is from animal source, unsaturated is from plant source. Then you must know which one is solid in room temperature, which one is liquid in room temperature, which one is more easily affected by oxidation. Means oxygen can react easily, which one more difficult for oxygen to react there. So all these parts, I've given you a table. There will be a table in yours, this uh, 
PDF file that I've sent you together with this video. Check that out so that they will just compare to first. Okay, this is just to give you a basic idea. I know some of you in school have not gone with this chapter yet, so or you just briefly went through. So just to give you an idea, we're learning the chemical part of the set. Okay, hopefully it helps you a little bit. Feel free to ask me any questions. Our next uh, second worksheet will be related to the enzyme. This is still considered the first worksheet. This is just the discussion for the questions, give you more info. So the second worksheet will be related to the enzymes there. Uh, pay extra attention. There will be 12 characteristics of enzymes there. I'll discuss one by one. I'll divide them into three sets. I'll discuss all of it. There's this thing called lock and key hypothesis. Got four graphs that you must relate and understand. So a bit more detail. So that will be our next worksheet. This will be out on the third. Take care. Uh, stay safe always, guys. Okay.